so I am working with a client right now and we're working on connecting with others by connecting with yourself feeling more comfortable inside your own skin validating your feelings and your needs and your experience and then what happens when you feel connected to yourself is that you lead in your relationships with curiosity instead of protection and concern and fear and how am I doing you are connected inside and you get curious about other people and that's how connection with others can be organic and beautiful and easy is by focusing on connection with yourself so here we go are you ready All right. Even though sometimes I feel really disconnected from myself, I choose to love and honor myself right where I'm at. Even though I really sometimes get nervous around other people, trying to do it right, not knowing what to say, feeling uncomfortable, I choose to dearly love and accept myself right where I'm at. Even though I want to be less nervous, especially around other people, I choose to dearly love, honor, and connect with myself. Whatever I'm feeling, I choose to validate it and maybe even celebrate it. And out of that inner bonding that I am committing to will come a natural, easygoing curiosity which connects me to other people. I choose to trust that as I dearly love, honor, and accept myself. All right. All this nervousness, all this social anxiety, I am trying really hard to get over this and I'm not getting too far with trying hard. What if I didn't try so much? What if my focus was not trying to do this right and be a better socializer, but being more kind to myself in my vulnerability. What would happen if I said to my anxiety and nervousness, hey, I hear you, I'm with you. I'm gonna give you a hug right now. It's okay to feel these feelings. It's okay to be a nervous little fish sometimes. I'm here for you. I'm here for you when you're trembling. I'm here for you when you say, hell no, I don't want to go out and meet other people. I'm here to say, you don't have to. You don't have to push yourself. You are loved just for who you are right now. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. I love you just the way you are. What would happen if I started to feel more connection with myself? What would happen if I just stepped on all the rules and the eggshells and all the social conventions and have tos? What if I just shook them out of me and just sank into a sense of peace and okayness about being alone, about being with myself? And what would happen if that feeling of being 
kind to myself got stronger and sweeter. I might just feel like going out and sharing. I might get curious about how other people are. I actually might really want to socialize. It's like I've been a caterpillar. I'm starting to feel my butterfly wings. It feels scary. Because all my life I've been told to be a caterpillar. All my life I was told I was a caterpillar. And I've been telling that story to myself for a long time. And that story is starting to feel threatened because I'm starting to feel these butterfly wings. And they want to flap. They want me to fly. And so my alone time is so precious. It's where I'm in a cocoon, going through a metamorphosis, learning to love and validate myself. And from that love and self-acceptance, I trust that those wings are getting stronger. But in the meantime, for as long as it takes, I choose to honor my cocoon. That's where I'm learning to connect with myself. It is purposeful. It doesn't mean anything bad about me. I choose to wrap my arms around myself while I'm cocooning and say, I love you, this is a perfect place to be. And I won't force you out of the cocoon until you're ready to fly, until you want, until you're excited and curious. That's when we'll come out. I love you, self. And I am here for you. In body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. 